All right, folks, you might have been keeping up with the stock market lately. Is it up or down? What does that mean for your money? Private Wealth Advisor Trevor Shakiba is here to break it all down for us, including some common financial mistakes and how to avoid making them ourselves. Okay, we got to talk about the market first because it's down right now, and it has been for the last few days. Yeah, in fact, all of October has been pretty volatile, so we're back in correction territory or close to it. Uh, I think we're taking a live look here. So uh, you can see it's been a big reversal today. Yeah. Again, talking about trade and tariffs with China today. The other couple things here, though, uh, as far as issues are interest rates. And then I think the uncertainty with the midterm elections. But I just want to point out to the viewers, look, this isn't a time to panic. Pay attention to fundamentals and earnings, and this may shock you. I think the market's fairly valued, maybe even undervalued now. So now's the, ta the, the time to stay focused. And if you have cash on the sidelines and you've been waiting, this might be a good time to dollar cost average some of that money in. Okay, and you always give us this advice, Trevor. Bottom line is don't panic and don't make emotional decisions. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's a big mistake most people make is they, they, they do panic or they let emotion affect their decisions. When it comes to money, look, it's emotional, but don't do that. Stay focused. Work with someone that can maybe walk you off the ledge. And, and really what you're trying to do here is own great companies that are going to be profitable long term and not pay attention to the noise short term here. Okay, and the noise might be some of those headlines. Okay, so let's get into the for, the mistakes that people make when it comes to their money. And you say mistake number one is that a lot of people were just winging it, yeah. hoping for the best. This is scary uh, and or spooky, right, with our Halloween theme here, but you can't wing it. And what I mean here is, is you can't operate without a budget, don't operate without a financial plan, and, and you've got to have financial goals. Be specific, a time frame and an amount. Just hoping isn't really a good financial plan to be able to have enough money to be able to retire comfortably. And speaking of retirement, you say this is another mistake that a lot of people wait too long to even start thinking about retirement. You say start as early as you possibly can. And we've got some comparisons on the screen right now showing just how much money we can lose if we do wait, right? Yeah, this is shocking. And we refer to it as the time value of money. It is critical to get started early. You can see here, if someone starts saving 5,000 per year at 22 and does that for 40 years at 8%, they would have approximately 1.3 million. Look but here's, he, here's the point. If you just waited 10 years and you started at 32, which is still fairly early, look at the difference. Uh, everything else is equal. You just waited 10 years, it's less than half. That 10 years, which is 50,000, turns into $734,000 difference. Wow. Get going, it's never too late, time is critical. Time is critical, time is on your side. So start early folks, especially if you've just graduated college, you're starting a new job, go for it guys. Yeah. Get those retirement do, accounts going. Literally do anything. I'm talking 50 bucks a month, just start, that is the key. Okay, you say another big mistake that a lot of folks make is they buy too much house. Too soon. It's, Too soon. <laughs> it's the biggest mistake I see young people make is they immediately want to buy that dream, dream home, house. right? Well, yeah. my rule of thumb is three times income. I think that's a good rule of thumb. So, so whatever you're making gross, that's where you need to be if you're if you're thinking about buying a house. And then repeat after me, renting is not throwing your money away, right? So, and that's provided that you save that difference. I, I, I just always caution people, it's okay to rent. Make sure you have your financial affairs in order and then run the numbers and find you know, that house, that starter home. Yeah, and that's a good rule of thumb. If you make 50,000 a year, multiply it by three, 150,000 is the price for your home. Right. Okay, let's talk about emergency funds because this is something you've told us again, time and time again, we've got to have money saved for a rainy day or a rainy six months? Yeah, three to six months is your general rule of thumb. I always like to advise folks and the viewers here, if you don't have three to six months, you're nowhere near that, just start off with a thousand and, and build from there. But look, life is going to happen. I can assure you that, whether it's a roof or an AC, and if you don't have a cushion, an emergency fund, you must then eventually go to credit cards, which is what we want to avoid. Exactly, and in order to build the, the right amount in your emergency fund, you have to know how much money you're actually spending out the door every month. Yeah, you, we spend more than we think. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Going back to the budget, right? You've got to know what you bring in and where it goes for, for 100%. The last mistake you say a lot of folks make is we don't invest in ourselves. What do you mean by that? Well, that, that's maybe a little bit more uh, esoterical here, but w w what I mean is, is that 
Uh, the biggest or best investment at times you can make is to invest back in yourself. So would it make sense to go back and get a graduate degree? What about certifications within your industry? Would that move the ball forward and help you really make more money, make more money, right? Drive that top line up. Um, what about another business with technology and social media? Maybe you add another revenue stream, which could really help as well. Remember, I was going to do that puppy car wash business, like puppies who wash your car. It's going to be amazing. It'll you better patent the world. it. Uh, Trevor, thanks so much for stopping by. Great to see you. Great advice yeah, as always. You. And if you folks would like to start investing with Trevor and the Shakiba Group, you can visit their website, theshakibagroup.com.